Hey, it's Ella. Thank you for being here with me. Um, so I admittedly have just not been feeling it the last, I don't know, the last week, but especially, yeah, I guess in the last week, I've not been feeling like doing much of anything that is, I don't know. I had this great idea of like, you know, I want to do something like have, you know, set up a time to have a live online gathering and spread the word through, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. And, you know, that I would say a few things that, you know, we could have a collective prayer, things like that. And it's like, as soon as I spoke that and then posted it that I want to do it my my body was just and my whole psyche was just like and eh, we're shutting down <laughs> so that's kind of the headspace that I've been in the last especially the last several days and so I thought you know um I got nothing I got nothing right now um, that's nothing that's not already being said, nothing that's not already being done. Um, and I just don't have a lot of energy right now. I have very little energy. Um, I have not been getting on the yoga mat. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been, you know, nurturing myself very well. So my thinking was, I was like, you know, I want to share something. I want to keep, keep this going. Um, you know, I don't want to lose all the momentum that I've built and that I've gained. So I thought, you know what, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just take some time and just shoot um, video of myself playing my, my drum. <laughs> This stupid thing like so I have a remote uh, it works with the you know my phone it's a Bluetooth remote I think I tried like five or six times <laughs> this stupid thing did not work and I'm just like huh okay all right um, there's a message here <laughs> so uh, so I'm just going to sit down right now and record my daily video that has not been daily uh, and just see if I can kind of explore, you know, explore and kind of maybe get some discovery about what, what, what my headspace means and, you know, where, where I've been and all that kind of stuff. So I think, um, you know, I wasn't trying to make the video fancy of me playing the drum. It's a steel drum. I was not trying to make it fancy by any means. I was just trying to get something done and out there that would be soothing for other people to watch and listen to. And um, it just straight up did not work. So I'm going to try it again but I may have to just be a little bit more conventional and not use the remote since the remote was clearly not working. <laughs> so uh, one time I actually um, pressed the button on the remote and it didn't actually start recording. Instead, it brought up Shazam for some reason. I'm like, okay, so whatever. This is not meant to happen with a remote apparently so um, I might try it again here in a few minutes and just do it old school where I just set up the camera and then hit record and then go and sit my butt down and start playing um, definitely not as definitely not as nice but you know it'll get the job done <laughs> quite frankly <laughs> Because it's really soothing to play the drum, so I can imagine that it might be soothing to listen to it. Um, I've been told that it's very soothing to listen to. So anyway, um, 
I just, it's very, it's very interesting to me. And by interesting, I mean infuriating. <laughs> How easily I am thrown off balance when everything in my world, the world, etc., is not going according to according to what exactly? Because we all know by now that I'm terrible at planning. So according to what? You know, um, it's interesting to kind of think about that. And, you know, my, my body has been just requiring a lot more sleep, a lot more rest. And, you know, I think part of that is just because of the general level of anxiety and fear of everything that's, you know, going on right now. And, um, you know, I've been using my, using my breath to kind of get through that and work through it and process. And it just hasn't been enough. So, um, I've, I have been sleeping more and doing less physical activity my body is just like it's weirdly achy um, you know it feels like it just feels like my body just wants to rest <sighs> I don't know why it's so hard to just heed that I don't know why it's so hard to just rest when my body needs it, obviously, my body is craving it, my body is asking for it, please let me rest, please go lie down, please don't, you know, force me to do strenuous activity or any, really much of any activity right now, I just can't do it, I can't handle it, I don't want it, it doesn't interest me, it doesn't help me right now, I just need rest. That is the message that I'm getting from my body and in my in my mind i feel like i should just be doing so much more i should just be doing 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 and so it's incredibly frustrating to i don't even know what that was on my face a crumb of something i don't know anyway um it's just really frustrating to keep getting this message from my body over and over and over again and i know like, I'm not stupid. I know that if I don't listen and if I don't actually heed the multiple adamant requests that my body is making, I know that it's going to mean that I end up sick. Um, not necessarily with COVID-19, but just sick, you know? Um, so, yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm really tired. And just my whole body, my whole everything is tired. And allowing my, for some reason, this is a pattern in my life. Um, for some reason, allowing myself to rest means that I'm weak. Or it means that I, yeah, means that I'm weak and lazy the word lazy comes to mind um you know all of these all of these horrible things geez, mean horrible violent things that my inner critic keeps saying mumbling and grumbling as my body is like asking me please please let me rest um and so i was journaling a little while ago and um, I realized I stopped myself in my tracks journaling and I'm like, ahimsa, ahimsa, which is nonviolence. Um, that's, you know, it's a Sanskrit word, um, but it means nonviolence. It's one of the requirements basically of being a yogi is to be nonviolent, ultimately nonviolent towards yourself. And of course, 
as that reflects nonviolent to the world. And that is just like nonviolence is imperative right now. I mean, it's, it's critical. And so I'm finding right now, I feel like I'm in um, the shadow of flow, which that's uh, a five rhythms reference. But I feel like I'm in the shadow of flow, which is inertia. And um, so I get this, I get, I get it mixed up sometimes in my apparently pea-sized brain. Oh, see, look, there I am being violent towards myself again. Hmm. Um, anyway, <laughs> somehow my, I get mixed up thinking that my body requesting and in fact requiring me to rest means that I am in a state of inertia. It means that I am unmovable and inflexible. You know, it means that I am purposefully choosing to be lazy and pur purposefully choosing to, um, you know, to be inert, basically. And that is just, what a load of BS that is. <laughs> that is just not true, you know? Just because my body needs some rest right now does not mean that I am inert. It does not mean that I am in inertia in that shadow of flowing so flowing being moving through your day your life with purpose and a sense of flowing <laughs> that's not not good to use the word to define the word but um <laughs> Uh, there's a certain grace to flowing, um, even if you feel like you're not graceful. There is a grace to it, and um, you know. But the shadow of flowing is inertia, and so I have definitely felt um, that's interesting that I've been sort of saying like, "Oh, yeah, I'm in inertia right now." So I wonder what I can do with that to kind of get things kickstarted and move things around and all that and I have not been able to kickstart I have not been able to move things around or work with the inertia because I'm actually not <laughs> what I am doing is um, I have basically been trying to keep myself busy which means denying my body what it is requesting so I'm actually, I've actually been, what I've actually been practicing is, you know, my mind and body being separate as if they are separate. And um, obviously they are not separate. So, um, you know, it's, it's a challenging, it's a challenging time right now to keep, to keep and maintain and nurture our mental health. And, you know, I, and I got so gung-ho, this is me, I always sign up for more than what I can actually do. Always. <laughs> I'm always like, I always take on more than what I can actually do. And then what ends up happening is that I don't end up having the energy to do the things that are truly to my highest good. So in that way, I end up self-sabotaging. And so this is a pattern that I am actively trying to break. And so I just kind of caught myself in the middle of it again with not recording daily videos because I feel like I'm like, what do I have to say right now that isn't already being said? Um, you know, and that, that speaks to me comparing what I may or may not have to offer to what other people are offering. Um, and that's, yuck, that's icky. That's really icky. Um, 
truthfully, I don't believe that we can have, I believe that the more positive messaging and the more uplifting there is going on by individuals like me I'm just a regular person um, you know by everyone I feel like the more of that that is actively happening the better off we will all be you know because just like bad spreads like wildfire so does good you know good spreads like like the ocean, you know, um, you know, dousing those, dousing those flames of the wildfire of negativity. So, you know, I just don't, I don't think we can have too much positive right now. And I'm not talking about, you know, Pollyanna positive of like, whatever, everybody knows what that is. <laughs> Fake positive. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just being real. Um, and just putting, you know, if, if you are struggling, just, it's okay to say that, you know, I'm struggling right now and I'm saying it and that's okay. And part of what makes it good to say, like, you know what, I'm struggling with a couple of things, um, just by saying it out loud and you know, just putting words to it, putting words to the feelings and um, the movement that's going on inside, just putting words to it actually helps it to move out of you, <laughs> you know, so that it doesn't get stuck and then you don't get stuck in this, you know, oh, I'm in an icky place, you know, so speaking your truth actually helps to helps you to let it go so that there's you know so that you can create some space inside for good things that you would rather be there <laughs> so anyway um well i guess i did have something to say because i've talked for <laughs> over 17 minutes now so um yeah i I'm going to make a promise to myself that I'm going to get back to doing these videos daily, even if I don't feel like I have anything to say, because obviously I do have things to say. And even if nobody watches it, it doesn't matter because my voice still matters. You know, even if it's just going out there into the ether, never to be heard by anyone, what matters is that I am taking the time to stop and express what is on my heart. That's what is important here. So, and I had lost sight of that. So, I'm getting back to that starting today. So, um, <laughs> now that I'm all emotional and that's okay too. So anyway, um, thank you so much for being here with me. I really, really appreciate you and I will see you tomorrow.